Chapter 3 Duration and Effect of Penalties Article 27 to 45 Section 1 Duration of Penalties Article 27 Reclusion Perpetua Any person sentenced to any of the perpetual penalties shall be pardoned after undergoing the penalty for 30 years unless such person by reason of his conduct or some other serious cause shall be considered by the chief executive as unworthy of pardon. Reclusion Temporal The penalty of reclusion temporal shall be from 12 years and 1 day to 20 years. Prison Mayor and Temporary Disqualification the duration of the penalties of prison mayor and temporary disqualification shall be from 6 years and 1 day to 12 years except when the penalty of disqualification is imposed as an accessory penalty, in which case its duration shall be that of the principal penalty. Prison Correctional, Suspension and Distero the duration of the penalties of prison correctional, suspension, and destiero shall be from 6 months and 1 day to 6 years, except when suspension is imposed as an accessory penalty, in which case its duration shall be that of the principal penalty. Arresto Mayor the duration of the penalty or arresto mayor shall be from 1 month and 1 day to 6 months. Arresto Menor The duration of the penalty of an arresto menor shall be 1 day to 30 days. Bond to keep the peace The bond to keep the peace shall be required to cover such period of time as the court may determine. Article 28 Computation of Penalties If the offender shall be in prison, the term of the duration of the temporary penalties shall be computed from the day on which the judgment of conviction shall have become final. If the offender be not in prison, the term of the duration of the penalty consisting of deprivation of liberty shall be computed from the day that the offender is placed at the disposal of the judicial authorities for the enforcement of the penalty. The duration of the other penalties shall be computed only from the day on which the defendant commences to serve his sentence. Article 29. One half of the period of the preventive imprisonment deducted from term of imprisonment. Offenders who have undergone preventive imprisonment shall be credited in the service of their sentence consisting of deprivation of liberty with one half of the time during which they have undergone prevented imprisonment, except in the following cases. 1. When they are recidivists or have been convicted previously twice or more times of any crime. 2. When upon being summoned for the execution of their sentence, they have failed to surrender voluntarily. 3. When they have been convicted of robbery, theft, estafa, malversation of the public funds, falsification, vagrancy, or prostitution. If the detention of the prisoner does not agree to abide by the same disciplinary rules imposed upon convicted prisoners, he shall be credited in the service of his sentence with four-fifths of the time during which he has undergone preventive imprisonment. Whenever an accused has undergone preventive imprisonment for a period equal to or more than the possible maximum imprisonment of the offense charge to which he may be sentenced and his case is not yet terminated, he shall be released immediately without prejudice to the continuation of the trial thereof or the proceeding on appeal if the same is under review. In case the maximum penalty to which the accused may be sentenced in this tiero, he shall be released 
after 30 days of preventive imprisonment. RA 6127 and EO number 214 as amended. Section 2. Effects of the penalties according to their respective nature. Article 30. Effects of the penalties or perpetual or temporary absolute disqualification. The penalties of perpetual or temporary absolute disqualification for public office shall produce the following effects. 1. The deprivation of the public offices and employments which the offender must have held even if conferred by popular election. 2. The deprivation of the right to vote in any election for any popular elective office or to be elected to such office. 3. The disqualification for the offices or public employments and for the exercise of any of the rights mentioned. In case of temporary disqualification, such disqualification as is compromised. In case of temporary disqualification, such disqualification as is comprised in paragraphs 2 and 3 of this article shall last during the term of the sentence. 4. The loss of all right to retirement pay or other pension for any office formerly held. Article 31. Effects of penalties or perpetual or temporary special disqualification. The penalties of perpetual or temporary special disqualification for public office, profession, or calling shall produce the following effects. 1. The deprivation of the office, employment, profession, or calling affected. 2. The disqualification for holding similar offices or employments either perpetually or during the term of the sentence according to the extent of such disqualification. Article 32. Effects of the penalties of perpetual or temporary special disqualification for the exercise of the right of suffrage. The perpetual or temporary special disqualification for the exercise of the right of suffrage shall deprive the offender perpetually or during the term of the sentence according to the nature of the said penalty of the right to vote in any popular election for any public office or to be elected to such office. Moreover, the offender shall not be permitted to hold any public office during the period of his disqualification. Article 33. Effects of the penalties of suspension from any public office, profession or calling, or the right of suffrage. The suspension from public office, profession or calling, and the exercise of the right of suffrage shall disqualify the offender from holding such office or exercising such profession or calling of right of suffrage during the term of the sentence. The person suspended from holding public office shall not hold another having similar function during the period of his suspension. Article 34. Civil Interdiction Civil interdiction shall deprive the offender during the time of his sentence of the rights of parental authority or guardianship either as to the person or property of any ward of marital authority of the right to manage his property and of the right to dispose of such property by any act or any conveyance inter vivos article 35 effects of bond to keep the peace it shall be the duty of any person sentenced to give bond to keep the peace to present two sufficient sureties who shall undertake that such person will not commit the offenses sought to be prevented and that in case such offense be committed they will pay the amount determined by the court in its judgment or otherwise the deposits such amount in the office of the clerk of the court to guarantee said undertaking. The court shall determine according to its discretion the period of duration of the bond. 
Should the person sentence fail to give the bond as required, he shall be detained for a period which shall in no case exceed six months if he shall have been prosecuted for a grave or less grave felony and sh shall not exceed 30 days if for a light felony. Article 36. Pardon its effects. A pardon shall not work the restoration of the right to hold public office or the right of suffrage unless such rights be expressly restored by the terms of the pardon. A pardon shall in no case exempt the culprit from the payment of the civil indemnity imposed upon him by the sentence. Article 37. Costs what are included. Costs shall include fees and indemnities in the course of the judicial proceedings, whether they be fixed or unalterable amounts previously determined by law or regulations in force, or amounts not subject to schedule. Article 38. Pecuniary Liabilities Order of Payment in case the property of the offender should not be sufficient for the payment of all his pecuniary liabilities, the same shall be met in the following order. 1. The reparation of the damage caused. 2. Indemnification of consequential damages. 3. The fine. 4. The cost of the proceedings. Article 39. Subsidiary penalty. If the convict has no property with which to meet the pecuniary liabilities mentioned in paragraphs 1st, 2nd, 3rd of the next preceding article, he shall be subject to a subsidiary personal liability at the rate of one day for each 2 pesos and 50 centavos, subject to the following rules. 1. If the principal penalty imposed be prison correctional or arresto and fine, he shall remain under confinement until his fine and pecuniary liabilities referred in the preceding paragraph are satisfied, but his subsidiary imprisonment shall not exceed one-third of the term of the sentence, and in no case shall it continue for more than one year and no fraction or part of a day shall be counted against the prisoner. 2. When principal penalty imposed be only a fine, the subsidiary imprisonment shall not exceed 6 months. If the culprit shall have been prosecuted for a grave or less grave felony and shall not exceed 15 days for a light felony. 3. When the principal penalty imposed is higher than prison correctional, no subsidiary imprisonment shall be imposed upon the culprit. 4. If the principal penalty imposed is not to be executed by confinement in a penal institution, but such penalty is of fixed duration, the convict, during the period of time established in the preceding rules, shall continue to suffer the same deprivation as those of which the principal penalty consists. 5. The subsidiary personal liability which the convict may have suffered by reason of his insolvency shall not relieve him from reparation of the damage caused, nor from indemnification for the consequential damages in case his financial circumstances should improve but he shall be relieved from pecuniary liability as to the fine, as amended in RA 5465. Section 3. Penalties in which other accessory penalties are inherent. Article 40. Death, its accessory penalties. The death penalty, when it is not executed by reason of commutation or pardon, shall carry with it that of perpetual absolute disqualification and that of civil interdiction during 30 years following the date of sentence unless such accessory penalties have been expressly limited in the pardon article 41 reclusion perpetua and reclusion temporal their accessory penalties the penalties of reclusion perpetua and reclusion temporal 
shall carry with them that of civil interdiction for life or during the period of the sentence as the case may be and that of perpetual absolute disqualification which the offender shall suffer even though pardoned as to the principal penalty unless the same shall have been expressly remitted in the pardon article 42 prison mayor its accessory penalties the penalty of prison mayor shall carry with it that of temporary absolute disqualification and that of perpetual special disqualification from the right of suffrage which the offender shall suffer although pardon as to the principal penalty unless the same shall have been expressly remitted in the pardon article 43 prison correctional its accessory penalties the penalty of prison correctional shall carry with it that of suspension from public office from the right to follow a profession or calling and that of perpetual special disqualification from the right of suffrage if the duration of said imprisonment shall exceed 18 months the offender shall suffer the disqualification provided in this article although pardoned as to the principal penalty unless the same shall have been expressly remitted in the pardon article 44 arresto its accessory penalties the penalty of arresto shall carry with it that of suspension of the right to hold office and the right of suffrage during the term of the sentence article 45 confiscation and forfeiture of the proceeds or instruments of the crime every penalty imposed for the commission of a felony shall carry with it the forfeiture of the proceeds of the crime and the instruments or tools with which it was committed such proceeds and instruments or tools shall be confiscated and forfeited in favor of the government unless they be the property of a third person not liable for the offense but those articles which are not subject of lawful commerce shall be destroyed